Okay, now you need to find the general solution of each general uh, differential equation. Um, that means they don't give you a value for x to plug in, so they want kind of the final simplified function. So you've been doing differentials. When they, uh, you know, when they said uh, find the differential and they give you, let's see if this is going to free. So if you're given y is equal to x squared, the dy dx is 2x, and then you multiply both sides by dx, and that's kind of an intro to differentials. Well, so to solve, uh, to find a general solution of a different differential equation, what you want is you want everything related to y's and dy's to be on one side, and everything related to x's and dx's to be on the other side. So this is one of the easier ones. This says dx over y squared. So we cancel the y squared on the right side. We multiply both sides by y squared. So now we have y squared dy is equal. Well, to cancel this dx, we're going to multiply both sides by dx. So now we have 2x dx. And what have you been doing? Uh, the, what we learned in the videos is when you see a function with the dx, usually the integral symbol goes with that. That's what we're going to do. We're going to now differentiate. If we differentiate the right side, we've got to go ahead and differentiate. Integrate uh, the integral symbol. We're going to integrate the left side. So I'm going to start on the left side. The integral of y squared, we're going to add 1, then divide 3. So this becomes y cubed divided by 3. Now on the left side, we're not going to tack on the plus c, even though that's an indefinite integral, because what we're trying to do is get the y by itself. All right, on the left side, 2x, and then that's 1, so we're going to add 1, divide 2, the 2's cancel. The left side is x squared. We do go ahead and add the c. All right. We want to eventually get that y by itself. First thing we're going to do is cancel this multiplying 3. When we do that, you could go ahead and put the 3 in parentheses. But if this is a constant, 3 times a constant is just going to be a bigger constant. So you don't really have to multiply the 3. I mean, you could, but it's not necessary. And remember, that's an uppercase C. It's kind of like three times an undefined uh, an asymptote, it's still going to be an asymptote. All right, so when we multiply both sides by three, we now have y cubed is equal to 3x squared plus that uppercase c, or if you want to put 3c, that's fine. And now, uh, to get the y by itself, we are going to take the cube root of both sides. This is the general solution of the differential equation. That's it.